Legend of War here, and today we've got a very interesting saving a disaster battle. So playing as the last defenders, it is the early game, going up against High Queen Kalita. We're just a little bit outpowered here. Um, so it looks like he's already been attacked once and withdrew from it. We are uh, just a bit outpowered. Now the funny thing about this save file is that this campaign, he has sent back my own save file. Now if you remember a little while ago, I did like a first 10 turn guide with uh, Krokgar and uh, I did like a really sort of annoying battle and then allowed you guys to download it from turn two. So when I downloaded the save file from the email, right, it suddenly looked like this. So I'm just like, hang on, because normally I, I download your save file and it's just got one link. And if there's two, what that means is it's from the same, it's from the same campaign. And I was like looking at this one thinking, I recognize this. This is from my campaign. So I just thought that was interesting that this person took the save file that I gave you guys and still fucked it up. All right, so let's come in here and uh, let's save it. <laughs> So yeah, we're outnumbered by five units here. And... We can't rely too heavily on the skink, so I'm glad he chose skink javelin. He's got croxigors here. Um, hmm. Problem is we don't have that much to work with at all. Don't have bounce of power pushes. Right, let me have a look at this. Yeah, that might be something. Okay, I think what we need to do is take Kropgar and the Blessed Croxigors. Have them go up front, and I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, this is gonna be weird, but what we wanna do is actually blob with the Skinks. I just hope their leadership can hold. Yeah, I'm, yeah, this is going to be weird, because this wizard here has got Wind Blast, right? Problem is, if I do this, the uh, the Skinks aren't going to fight very well. That's that's the problem. Um, but what I want to do with Krokgar is just try to get them to waste as much ammunition as possible. And then we just lure them back over here, and we, then we just use a Wind Blast to sort of win. Because, yeah, we can get a lot of damage in with Wind Blast, and we've got not much wins. Mm, I feel like this is going to backfire. Okay, maybe maybe what we should do is try to shoot the Javelins first. We're faster than them. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I'm still trying to come up with a plan. Um, yeah, we should send them up front first, try to harass. Have these guys just use up their Javelins and then run into the corner. So yeah, if I could just get Krokgar to waste as much of the Skeleton Archer's ammo as possible, that would be good, because that's the unit that we can't really deal with. There's a um, Sepulchral Stalker in there somewhere, but we've got the speed advantage, so we should really try to make use of that. There they are. But they don't have that much ammo. Let me just see what I can do with them. Because the thing is, Krokgar on foot, on legendary difficulty, very hard battles, is not really that good. It's not terrible, don't get me wrong. But, you really want him on that Carnosaur. Okay, if we could... Separate the Sepulchral Stalkers. See, their speed is only 50, which... You know, they're still faster than them. the javelins so we need to defeat them yeah, this is looking all right here at the moment if we could get that one isolated that is a high value unit even if we end up using a lot of javelins to deal with it don't fire it will yet I think Kalita got hit by her own units ammo it's gonna be archers but I'm just gonna have to deal with that 
At least we can outrun them. And move up close and shoot them. Because they're just dead. Yeah, come straight at Kalida. Kalida's on anti-large. No, she's not. Okay, so the Croxigors might actually be able to handle her. Okay, okay. Yeah, getting rid of all of this stuff here is definitely a big deal. Okay, then send Krokgar back in there. We just need them to have mixed units fighting. Okay, that looks like we're getting rid of the... Good, 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 good. Okay, these ones here. Just about out of ammo. Try to get rid of these archers. I was going to waste their ammo, but... If I can kill them, that's actually better. How are we going here? Good, if we can kill Kalita early, that'll make a big difference. Yeah, she's going down. Good, good, good. Alright, now let's get into that corner and get ready to... to blob. Maybe. Since these guys here now have very little combat potential, if we can get them to blob up and... Uh, wind of breath attack them, not wind of death... You know, wind blast. That might actually work. Alright, and Kalida is. Come on. Fucking go already. Good, okay. Let's keep moving back. Still got a little bit of ammo here that we want to use up. So just getting to shoot at it. Because, yeah, once they're blobbed up, they're not going to shoot properly, so just shoot it on anything. It doesn't really matter. And, once again, have Krokgar try to tank the archer's ammo, if possible. But so far, we've taken out some really good units that the Wind Blast actually wouldn't be very good against. You can't stay here. But yeah, we're going to have to be dealing with um, fear effects as well. Even though they're just stupid skeletons. And yeah, skinks aren't exactly the bravest of units. We've got this, but I can only apply that on one unit at a time. Well, actually, I can do it three at a time. Alright, here we go. Let's start getting our, our skinks into the corner. So that we can prepare the uh, the wind blast, because that's our way of winning. Now, another problem that we're going to face is the summons when they come down. Or oh, did I leave Crocker in there? Whoops! Get him out! Get him out! Yeah, shoot the Nehekara warriors. Ah, oh, damn it. Krokgar is not that fast. He... No, no, we should, we should be able to get away. Although the Nehekara warriors... No, no, we got it, we got it. Just gotta keep, keep moving. Okay, maybe if I send the Croxigors to give him some support. They're actually shooting their own units a little bit. Just gonna feign some charges to get them to try to brace. Yeah, I'm not actually charging in there, it was just to give Krokgar an escort to get out. Okay, cool. Still got a little bit of ammo left on these guys. Okay, that's looking very skinky. But so far, so good, I think. This playing Lizardman music, so it's giving us some hope. But yeah, if we attack this head on now, I don't think we'll win just because of the very hard battle difficulty cheats. Even with the uh, Blessed Croxigals, I don't think that would uh, come out on top. 
There's, there's a fair few spearmen in... Uh, actually, not that many. Okay, that's it. All of the missiles have been spent. Get into the blob. Let's do this. So we didn't get rid of all their archers, but I think there's only like one or two units left. Let me have a look. One, two... Yeah, just the two. So we'll just have to try to army loss them. Alright, now it's all up to you. So this is why I wasn't casting anything up until now. Because we want to get this really big blob going in. The tighter their formation, the more damage this is going to do. Also, we could overcast it for 9 winds of magic. So just a 2 additional winds of magic could do a ton of extra damage. Now it's just a matter of holding our leadership. No point popping this down until they're wavering. Right, here we go. Yeah, look, we don't need armor-piercing damage. Just use the regular one. I don't want to risk the miscast. Also doubles the cooldown. Now, if we just wait until we've got 30 wins of magic, how long can we expect to hold? Because I can't get that many casts of this off. At the moment, I've got... Let's see, it's seven winds of magic. That's what, three casts? We wait until 28, then we'll have a fourth. If we wait until 29, we've got three regular casts and one overcast. Just wait. We're not in any serious danger just right now. Okay, let's get another cast in. So yeah, we'll let the last one be an overcast, if we absolutely need it, because that'll absolutely wreck him. But yeah, look at those kills coming in. I reckon the next cast will bring in their uh, Ushabti summon, but we can use our uh, Croxigors to sort of counter that. There we go. Here come the Ushabti any moment now. Yep. Keep an eye on these guys here. Any of them low on leadership? Let's keep them in play. It's <laughs> vampire counts techniques. Okay, we have got... If I get one more Winds of Magic, I get two regular casts. Yeah, there's this sharp tier giving us the shits, but we're taking it out pretty quick. Yeah, I think it'd be better to do two regular casts as opposed to a overcast. But who knows? If we just wait two minutes, we could get an overcast, but I don't think it's worth waiting two minutes. Keep them in line. Don't worry about it. Oh, hang on. If I wait one minute, I can get an overcast. Alright, I'll wait. Because I reckon one overcast will cause the army losses. There's just not that many of them left. We, we've probably won this just in an outright fight. But taking them out early will um, mean that we just take fewer casualties. Come on, one more wins. Yes, this is the problem with the Croxigor. See, these ones over here, they went in too deep. They just get... Fucking smashed when that happens. There we go. This will be the army losses, I think. Maybe we need a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, what we should probably try to do with the Croxigors now 
is break through and get at those fucking archers, because that's where most of their bounce of power is going to lie. So I'm going to try to push right through here. But that's the end of our magic. Okay, I'm going to get in over there. Push through, push through. Oh, taking a lot of damage getting through here. We're going to get... Can't go around. That's it, Coxigors. Use your mass. Good, they got through, took a bit of damage, but that's okay. Once they're done with the archers, they can come over here and hit them in the rear. And a lot of them are crumbling, which is giving us um, you know, free damage on them, which is good. Just need our guys here to hold. So far, no, none of them left the battlefield. Leadership's still holding. They're in the 50s. Yeah, you definitely got unlucky there with that amount of winds of magic in the area. Okay, there we go. There's the army losses. And there we go. Saving my own disaster campaign. So yeah, just, just to iterate what I mean by that. Um... Would have been a long time ago now, like like six months ago? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I did a 10-turn uh, guide for Kropgar and gave you guys a save file. So this guy downloaded that save file and continued to play it. He must have downloaded it fairly recently because he's only under turn 22 here. And um, got into a shit situation despite that save file and uh, sent it back to me to fix it again. And there we go. But yeah, with that battle there, it was really just utilizing all of our strengths. It really went about as well as we could have expected. We took out Kalita early. We took out the Sepulchral Stalkers early. You know, every single Wind Blast just did ridiculous amounts of damage. We got to use up all of our ammunition before going into melee. Because once, once we had used up our ammo, these guys here just charging them head first. It's just not going to do any serious value. But using them to get the AI to blob up, that had a lot of value for us. Yeah, the area was weak in Winds of Magic, but now that she's gone, you're in a position to advance. She's still, you know, not that much weaker than you. You really need to press that advantage quickly. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting to see um, this save file actually boomerang its way back to me uh, to have to save it again. Um, yeah, interesting. I'm curious to know how many of you guys actually ended up uh, downloading that save file and playing it a campaign with that. Um, just, just curious. Let me know in the comments below if you ended up downloading that particular save file and playing a campaign with it. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.